Hello, everybody, and welcome to day nine of our journey to see how Groove.cm can be beneficial to your business, no matter what type of business it is. Today, I will discuss GrooveBlog. Now, GrooveBlog, in my mind, is one of the biggest and best assets Groove has to offer. And to me, it's relatively new because I never really thought about starting a blog until, well, about a month ago. And when I started it, it was a lot of fun. Now, my blog is GroovyGuy.com, and that's G-R-O-O-V-E-Y-G-U-Y.com. Now, I know it's not a whole lot of stuff, but I like to think of myself as funky in my own time. But um, nonetheless, here we can see that you can actually create one blog as a free member. And again, I'm showing you guys my free member site, or a free member site, I should say just so that you can see what happens when you first sign up. You can create a blog name like, hey, hey, let's go with that. And you can use a subdomain of hey, hey, dot grooveblog.com. So we're going to go with that. This is um, a little bit different than Groove Pages. This is actually allowing you to use the, the Groove subdomain, which is kind of surprising to me. So here you have some different templates that you can see, but this allows you to get started. And over here, you start having, um, you have the home button and then you have the publish, basically the publish section, but you can create posts here. So you can decide what posts you want to create. We'll go down here. This isn't really, I'm not a tutorial type of guy. So I'm just giving you kind of an overview. Uh, the themes that you can pick, um, the various themes, uh, we only have one right now, but you'll hear that in a few minutes. Uh, and then navigation, what you can do with the links, you can move these around, you can add um, your privacy policy. And if, if you're wondering where you're going to get things like a privacy policy or terms and conditions or things like that, there are free places online that you can actually put your business information into and it will populate that for you, give you a link and you can actually add them to here. Um, now that's a pretty valuable tip because nobody nobody told me that in the beginning and i was like what do i have to get a lawyer you know stuff like that but no this is they'll give you some standard terms and conditions a privacy policy uh you're gonna want if you're an affiliate marketer an affiliate disclosure things of that nature nothing major it's just a, a few minutes of just well just work that has to be done so once you get your blog going i think you'll understand that you want these things in there just for yourself. So yeah, those are your links. And you can separate your blog post by categories. These are kind of fun. Now this is where group blog becomes very powerful. And you can start putting in SEO parameters. You have your tag URL, you can put in your posts, uh, your post URL, your categories URL, um, start getting into domains, publish to the subdomain, publish to a root domain, change the subdomain and things like that. Your logo can go here. This will help you um, get, uh, excuse me, help you with your, your SEO as well. Favicon, it's a little symbol that's up here where you see this G on the tab. You're going to want that changed to something that uh, basically helps you brand your site. You have social links. So you put in your Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and whatever else you might be out there doing with. You can embed ads. This is one of the best ways to monetize um your blog you can embed ads here so you have header footer in the sidebar um you have forms uh so once you put the form in and again this is something you do in groove mail this is something you built from uh the form in groove mail and you put in uh stuff to build your newsletter for example so you have your copyright information like, and then tracking in pixels. This is where you would put your Google Analytics pixel or your Facebook pixel. So you could uh, retarget and uh, retarget your audience later on with information they found beneficial or you see that they used or stayed on, read, that kind of thing. Uh, and then open graph, this is more of the things that this is like the SEO for like social media. These are the things that, or this is how it pops up in social media. I don't, I'm not explaining it the way it should be, but just to give you an idea. So I'm going to get back to my little, my little ditty that I wrote out here. So in all honesty, my last video in this series will be a synopsis of a review of Groove.cm. So I want to say thank you. 
I hope some of my experiences, both good and bad, have been useful to you all. I will be generating more content in the future and strongly suggest you upgrade to Groove Platinum if it fits your long-term goals and only if it fits your long-term goals. Please use my link in the description. And when you upgrade with my link, I will send you my $997 bonus. Um, and again, if you have any trouble with that, which you should not, because it's set to automatically disperse once certain things are triggered, you can reach me at guy at groovyguy.com. And that's G-R-O-O-V-E-Y-G-U-Y.com. So let's get to it. GrooveBlog is the last application I will discuss for Groove.cm, a fantastic tool that allows free users to have a single blog. Upgraded members can create unlimited blogs. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this and why it's important later on. You've heard me mention some of the SEO stuff, and it's related to that. Although lightweight in nature, GrooveBlog has a robust feature set and reminds it's reminiscent of a WordPress blog but you don't have all the additional plugins that would slow down your, your blog. So not all plugins are bad, but when they're just bogging down everything, it's really not worth it in my, my opinion, because if people, if a page isn't loading fast enough for a person, they're just going to switch off and go to something else. They don't care. They don't, they, I mean, I think it was a recent study. I heard that um, people now have the lowest uh, attention span of any animals because of cell phones, immediate um, gratification and stuff like that. And the reason that bothers me uh, is a couple of reasons, but the primary reason is it used to be a goldfish. Now a goldfish doesn't have much of a, an imag or much of a memory at all. It's three seconds. So uh, there was a joke going around and I, I think a Disney animated movie or Pixar animated animated movie i'm not sure which one it was something about fish the fish is swimming around and goes "Ooh, that's new Ooh, that's new and they're just swimming around a fishbowl so i i think that's kind of funny because i'm applying that to people and seeing people's faces in my mind all going "Ooh, that's new Ooh, that's new Ooh, what's next so nonetheless so let's go back to it um only one theme at this time, like I had said before, but more are planned for future release. Uh, your article or blog creation is very simple uh, and it's intuitive. Any, any beginner can do it. GrooveLog allows the blogger to optimize on-page SEO like meta title, keywords, and description, as well as the tags H1, H2, and H3, just like Groove Pages, Groove Funnels, and the OG image and descriptions, which are the ones related to uh, social media, as I said, and you can still see on the screen. And OG is open graph. In case you didn't catch that one. <laughs> By creating multiple blogs, and this is where it's uh, beneficial as a paid member to be able to create multiple blogs. If you have multiple blogs, you can actually cross post your blogs, share the information between sites, and create backlinks. Backlinks are an off-site SEO tactic, or off-page SEO tactic, excuse me. And when I say off-page, that means it's not directly on the page, but it directly affects the things that um, are how many viewers or how much traffic is driven to um, your site based on like our, through Google uh, and search engines like that. But anyway, uh, there are SEO tutorials and things like that you really want to get into. I'm not very good at explaining those things, but I did want you to know that it's out there. And backlinks is something that most people miss. Like there are things like in my bonus course that Paul Murphy does, uh, there are some things that you would never know um, on how to help your YouTube videos get better placement something that by itself is worth the thousand dollars or less than a thousand dollars the course actually costs so uh, you guys might want to take advantage of that so anyway hosting like all pages on groove cm is free you can use your own domain or domains and as we've seen i didn't realize it but you can actually use the groove subdomain if you want you can also add ads from google adsense and other sources like i showed you um, you can actually add Groove ads. So you can actually go to the affiliate page, 
copy the HTML codes and put them into the header, sidebar, and footer sections and be able to advertise with proof pages or your own products. If you have an ad or a banner that you want to put in there, you can do that as well. So I showed you the tracking links. The only things that I, you really can't do are RSS feeds or plugins. So uh, again, not all plugins are bad, but it's not weighing down your site either. So, so build your blog, use groove.cm. It's uh, the platform to help you bring your business to the next level. Our last segment will review groove.cm and each of the applications as a reminder of the value it can bring. If it seems like a fit, sign up with a free account using the link below. After a test run, you, you do still have time to take advantage of the lifetime access upgrade offer. Comment below with any questions or again, hit me up at guy at groovyguy.com. Thank you all very much. Have a fantastic day.